I loved Lucy, so to speak. <laughs> I love Lucy. Lucy is the most amazing performer who will go on and on and on. Uh, she made me laugh, she made you laugh, she made our mothers laugh, our fathers laugh. When my, I have two young daughters, they're 19 and 21 now, I would come in when they were five, six, seven years old and they'd be watching television and doubled over with laughter. And who were they watching? Lucy. So they saw every single Lucy show. You know, she's on every day all over the world at some time. And that'll go on too. Their daughters and their children will also. Lucy will be eternal. Because she was the, the perfect clown. She was very, you know, you know, a, a comedy is a very exacting, demanding thing. You'll find that out from Conway if you'll admit it. He's never serious. But it's almost mathematical. They're very neat people. They're very organized people. They're always checking their props and making sure that this is and that you'll do this and that. It is nothing, there's nothing sloppy about comedy. It's very exacting. I'm sure you've heard this story about Edmund Gwen. Uh, the old movie actor who was dying, he was in his last breath, and someone came to visit him <coughs> and said, um, uh, the, his nickname was Bunny, he said, Bunny, death must be very hard. And Bunny said, not as hard as comedy. Demanding, want, perfectionistic, having to have everything just right, making sure that, and I went to her, I said, she did our show, and she said, now Harvey, be sure, I said, Lucy, this is our show, and I know what I'm doing. You leave me alone. Okay, I'm sorry. I just want to make sure. Uh, Carol does not do that. Carol knows what she wants, but Carol is secure enough that if something goes wrong, I oh, will do it. There's some people who are very perfectionistic, and I don't know what that means in a psychological way, but you can't be sloppy about comedy. It has to be very exacting. You got to really know what you're doing from moment to moment and plan it out. You know, we see all these great silent screen comedians, the Chaplins and the Keatons and the Lloyds. They spend hours, days, weeks perfecting a gag. A lot of work goes into it.